What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Guava Juice. Have you ever been on BuzzFeed? Do you think BuzzFeed is taking over the internet? I think so. BuzzFeed is so cool. Oh my god, Senpai Kawaii! Today, we're gonna try out a couple of BuzzFeed quizzes. Have you ever taken those quizzes before? They're pretty interesting, so let's, let's select from one of these choices here. This quiz will calculate what percent diva you are. Hey! Diva! What percent diva are you? Oh, here we go. Your friend is late meeting you for coffee. When they arrive, you give them the stink eye until they apologize. What is, it, what is the stink eye? Like this? Am I doing the stink eye correctly? <laughs> Say, finally, I wasn't going to wait much longer. Casually give them a hard time about making jokes about their tardiness. Brush it off because at least they're here. Well, if, how diva... Wait, so they're saying what I would do in real life. I would be like, uh, huh, uh, I would casually give them a hard time by making jokes about their tardiness. Like, yo, why are you so late, bro? Did you, did you poop for 10 minutes? Ah, uh, hey man, why are you so late? Were you sleeping? Ah, uh, hey, why are you so late? Or should I say, why are you so lame? Ah, uh, <laughs> If you're spending the night at a friend's house, do you take the couch or the bed? At a friend's house? Duh, duh, I'm the guest. I mean, yeah, the bed. I mean, I'm the guest. Exactly. Duh. Yo, man, I'm sleeping over. Yo, you can't sleep in the couch. Oh, are you, are you, your couch? Which means your bed? <laughs> Diamonds are a girl's best friend. True or false? Uh, uh, I don't know. Some girls like it. Some girls don't. Some girls like shoes, some girls like purses and handbags, diamonds, jewelry. What do, what do you girls think? Any female viewers here? Do you like diamonds? Comment below if you like diamonds. Comment below if you don't. I, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I'm so serious. So diamonds, I guess it's true because it's, it's sparkly, I guess. Like, people will die for diamonds. <laughs> Puns for days, guys. Someone starts drama about you. What do you do? Openly confront them in front of all your friends so they feel uncomfortable. Ha! <laughs> Passively aggressively start a rumor about them, okay? Write a vengeful subtweet about them on Twitter. So tweet subtweeting on Twitter. Yeah, I'll do that. Paint your nails and shrug it off. Well, painting your nails you can't really no, no, I would, I would, uh, I would subtweet about it because, yeah, I've done, a, I've done a lot of those in my past, so I'm, I'm gonna subtweet, you know what I'm saying? You, you guys ever subtweeted before? Like, someone, someone's doing something wrong, and you're just like, man, why do people do this? Why do people deserve good things when they're bad? It's, it's, it's kind of like that. It's, it's like subtweeting. Yes, exactly. Subtweet. Huh? Which reality TV show would you binge watch? The Real Housewives of Orange County. I've never seen that. The Bachelor. Teen Mom. Keeping up with the Kardashians. None of these, to be honest. I like. I've only seen the Kardashian show. So let's go, Kardashians. Choose a dream job. Okay, let's. Let's. We could be a multi hip hop singer, awards winning actor. Famous travel blogger, reality TV show star, high end fashion design. I would be a famous travel blogger. I, who, who wouldn't want to travel the world? Like, you know the guy who eats a lot of food? I forgot his name, but he like, I see him on Travel Channel a lot or the Food Channel. I don't know which one, but he goes around different places, eats exotic foods, and that's all he does. He, he just flies around the world and do that. It's, what, what, dude, that's amazing. At the same time, you're eating gross foods, but at the same time, you're traveling and seeing the world. It's just like, who wouldn't want that? I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing famous travel blogger. Which of the following would your friends say best describes you? High maintenance, sassy, super real, go getter, brutally honest and spoiled. I, I say sassy, sassy. <laughs> okay, when things don't go your way, I'll try to get over it. Listen, I'll get mad, but I'll figure out how to fix it. Be pouty and moody for the rest of the day. Well, I, I don't want to be pouty and moody for the rest of the day. Why? I'm just trying to. Dude, the sooner you fix your problems, the better you'll feel throughout the whole day. It's just like that simple. It's like if you wake up really bad in the morning, you're gonna have a bad day. Unless 
you, you solve it by doing something optimistic throughout the day, which causes the rest of the day to be very positive. That's why you want to stay positive. So let's let, let's do this. Listen, I'll get mad, but I'll figure out how to fix it. What would you do if you found out your best friend betrays you? Ice them completely. How dare they cross you? Never cross me. If anyone crosses me, you're you gone. You, you gone. You're banned. Banned from my life. Banned from my life. This goes out to you, haters. You hate me. I don't support you. You don't believe me. I don't believe in you. You suck. Sorry. I, I, I'm just ranting. I'm just ranting to all my haters out there. You know who you are. You know who you are. You, you comment all these random things just to get attention. It's not working. You suck. You have no life. Do something with your life. Wow, those, I'm, I'm getting so mean. I'm, I, I really, I'm sorry. Seriously, you suck. Immediately seek revenge. Call them out for their BS on social media. Talk to them and figure out what is wrong. Okay, if your best friend betrayed me, okay, I would talk to them first, see what went wrong. If they keep doing it, then it's, it's over. It's over. You're bad. Bad for my life. Bad for my life. You're just like, yo. You, I don't need you in my life. Like, like, here it is. Here it is. It's something, if someone becomes so negative in my life, just, I'll just toss them out. Like, you don't need any negativity in your life that brings you down. Take away all those negativities and throw them out in the garbage and just like, dude, focus on you. Focus on getting better. Like, people who are negative do not help you get better. They only bring you down with them. You don't need that. You're, wow, I am just venting to you guys. Wow. But for real, I have encountered a lot of that back in my high school days. It's, it's just, I'm just trying to, like, help you all. If you're in that situation right now and you need some help, that's what happened. If anyone negative is in your life, talk to them first. If they're continuing to be negative, give them another another chance. And if they're just constantly negative like that, just let, leave them alone. They're not worth it. Let them figure it out by themselves. And maybe in the future, you can be friends again. You never know. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's do this. Let's talk to them and figure out what's what wrong. Which of these is the best quality to have? Self-confidence. Fierce, self-respect, motivation. Confidence is all you need, dude. As long as you're confident in what you're doing, who you are, your future will be extremely confident. Dude, I'm, I mean, I am like, I'm like, I feel like a guru right now. I like, I, I my quotes and my, my words. I just want to inspire you guys to just make the best out of yourself. It's not, it's not even being about a diva anymore. Like, what percent diva are you? It doesn't matter. Just live a good life. Wow, this BuzzFeed quizzes are like very. What? It's giving me so much wisdom right now. It's making me, making me so happy. Okay, your partner forgets your birthday. You. Okay, make them feel terrible about it until they make it up to you. Dump them. Remind them that it's your special day and give them a chance to make it up to you. Well, I'm more like a forgiving kind of person. Like, I, I'm all about second chances, like I'd explained. So I'll give them a second chance. Give them a chance to make it up. Which is more important, friendship or money? Money. No. No, money... It's just a materialistic object. It buys things for you. It buys fancy things if you want. But money isn't the root to happiness. Friendships are. If there are no friendships, then you can just ship your life away. <sighs> what? Okay, friendship. Money, nah, bro. Money, money comes and goes, okay? Let's just, let's just do friendship. Would you rather be famous for your talent or your personality? Oh, that's a good one. What, what if my personality is my talent? Ah! Or my talent is my personality? Ah! Okay, I will I will rather be famous for my personality. Because, you know, everyone has that personality and has that vibe. And I, 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 w I would want to be famous for who I am. Because that's who I am. My talents come second. Like, whether it's, like, music or, like, like jokes or, like, backflips. Personality always comes first. It's the foundation. Which celebrity, celebrity, which celebrity do you idolize? Beyonce. No doubt. No doubt. She's the queen. She's the queen. Queen! Beyonce! Woo! How picky are you about your food? I am pretty picky because I legit have food allergies. Okay, I'm allergic to shrimp. Anyone else allergic to shrimp and shellfish? 
That's me. We're in the same boat. Give me, give me a kiss. Mwah. That's for you. If you're a guy, it's okay. It's a bro kiss. Like that. You feel that? That's what a bro kiss feels like. Mwah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have my quirks when it comes to meals. I tend not to ask anything in a main specific way, and I'm annoyed if it's not. I don't think I'm picky. I'm not that picky, you know. Just don't give me shrimp. If you do, I'm gonna die. So as long as there's no shrimp or selfish, I'm all good. Someone tells you a secret. What do you do with this information? I keep it to myself. That's the point of the secret, right? I tell a few close friends. It's just so juicy. I can trust them. I spill to my group of friends whatever if drama starts. If someone tells me a secret, Oh man, if they tell me like, yo, don't tell anyone, I I'm that kind of person, I'm like, okay, I'll just keep it to myself, it's fine. So, it's it's cool, I, I honestly just keep it to myself, unless they tell me like, yo, blah 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 happened, and then they didn't say the key words. The key words are, don't tell anyone. If they didn't say those key words, I will tell a few of my closest friends, but otherwise, I just keep it to myself, it's a secret. Have you ever been called a biatch? Nope. <laughs> Has well wait maybe my maybe my haters did that oh, I can't go back my haters have done it in my comments but you know haters I eat them for breakfast don't worry Has someone ever hated you haters because they were just jealous of you all, all the time all the time I got so many haters on YouTube haters on YouTube only means they're jealous of you which only means you are being successful on YouTube okay your that means your content is being Revealed throughout that part of YouTube the hater space. I call it the hater space They have their own little world and uh, your video just goes to their space. That means it's venturing out It's a good thing even though haters suck. I hate them your Instagram your Instagram is mostly pictures of uh, Incredible vacation RC photography myself my pet my outfits and next none of the above my Instagram is like weird I do like random things. I guess it's, about, it's about, of me I guess. Yeah, I guess of me doing random things, but I, 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 if you haven't seen my Instagram, follow me at Guava Roy. I have some really, I, don't, I wouldn't say weird, but I have interesting pictures out there. Like, I, I have myself upside down uh, with a whole bunch of cherry blossom trees. I don't know how, how I did that, but I have stuff like that. <laughs> so, yes. And finally, this is a long quiz. And finally, someone says something rude. You... Uh, huh. Well, if someone does something rude, I kind of just stare at them. Not the side eye stare, like, I just stare at them. Like, like, if someone, like, pushes me, I look back, and I just stare at them like this. Like, like, my eyes are like, yo, what did you just do? If you don't do anything, or if you don't apologize, there might be something that might happen to you later in the day. So you better watch out, haters. Let's go, yo, this is for you. I spit on you. <laughs> so any, anyways, I should say, um, huh, give them, I guess this, the eye, I guess look at them with their eyes. I guess I'll give them the side eye stare. All right, my results. I got seven, what? I'm 92% diva. Are you serious? You just about, Reign supreme when it comes to your personal success, which can cause some people to be intimidated by you. Wow, is that is that for real? I thought I was a nice guy, but this guy, this quiz says I'm 92% diva. Are you serious? While you command attention when you need it, I don't, I don't like attention to be honest. I really don't. You're also capable of taking a step back and putting other people first. Okay, yeah, I put a lot of people first. You are not afraid to tell like it is. Even that does cause drama. That's just the way you roll, baby. Wow. This is true? That the whole statement is true, except, uh, no, actually, no. The only thing that's true is taking a step back and putting other people first. Because I'm that kind of guy who puts other people first. I'm like always, like constantly trying to see if everyone else is okay. Like, I always put myself last for some reason, which is, I guess is a good thing, but I'm, all, I'm like that caregiver. Like, I was raised to, like, care for others before me. It's just, it's just like my personality, I guess. And, uh, as far as, like, while this, this, this statement right here, while you command attention when you need it, I, I don't think that's true because 
even, even I know I know I make videos on YouTube and people watch it and that's just like attention like hey attention attention I have a video it's just like it's like, like not my thing like being humble is like kind of like what I learned throughout my whole life it's just like even though you have success and attention it doesn't mean you have to like brag about it it's more like you have to like share it you know just share it to the people enlighten the people watching brighten up their days inspire them and that's 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 me so uh, I don't think I'm 90% diva. I guess I'm. I, if I could change the number, it would be 29% diva. But this twist says I'm a diva, so I'm a diva. Take that, Beyonce. What you got now? You're not a single lady anymore. Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, hope you enjoyed this quiz. I hope this quiz enlightened you because it really enlightened me. It really opened my mind and made me think ways and how I. Thought I didn't think before but anyways stay awesome stay humble you are amazing let me here's my heart here's my heart it's for you take care of it okay goodbye <laughs>